Hi, Jill and Jim. This is Mary from the Assiniboia Gallery. Thank you for your email. Uh, we have some frames to show you for the Alan Sapp painting. Uh, so the piece is 24 by 36 inches unframed, and uh, that's 2 feet by 3 feet. And we've got um, six frames to show you. The first three are frames that fit into the framed price, so they're, it's just as is, there's no extra cost or anything. Quite often what we do is we stack two frames together just to give it a little more uh, presence and pizzazz. So just as an example, we're starting off with a soft uh, brushed silver with uh, just a nice simple uh, rounded edge to it. You sort of see a little bit of the red sort of terracotta uh, gesso which is underneath the silver leaf. So what we would recommend is actually taking this black uh, and putting it with the silver and it just helps bring it off the edge of the canvas a little bit and the black just very subtly pulls some of those dark browns out in the painting which is quite nice. So this is a very soft, simple option. The next option is rather than taking two frames and stacking them together, this frame actually has it built in already, so they've kind of done that job for us. Again, it's a silver uh, reveal here. It's got a little bit, a uh, couple of ridges there, a uh, brushed silver, but then the outer piece, instead of being black this time, is actually a dark brown, and it has a little bit of distressed uh, feature to the wood, so it gives it a little less of a polished, uh, contemporary frame. This would be a little bit more traditional frame, but it's a nice dark brown which goes really well with the painting. The next option I'm going to show you, so this is coming up here as number three. What we've done this time is we've taken a linen liner. So this is about two and a half inches wide and again we put that on the edge and then we stack the frame on top. And so compared to the other ones I was showing you, this is giving you a lot more uh, dimension. So you're adding sort of two and a half inches plus another two inches with this frame. And this particular frame is uh, just a matte black, very simple, uh, straight, square edges. Compared to the other two, this is quite deep. So it's going to stand off the wall a little bit more. And then just as another choice, I'm going to take the very first silver frame that I had, put that on there. That would be a very nice look, very soft. So that was frame number one. And then this is frame number two, again with the liner. So another, another look. If you're, if you're interested in making the painting a bit wider, putting this linen liner is certainly a good way to do that. So those are the first three, silver, brown, and black. Now the next, next three um, add some cost just because they're more expensive frames. So this particular frame is Aroma. Uh, they call this color Forest Leaf. And what we're doing is we're taking a very nice silver, brushed silver piece, putting it inside, and then putting the, the forest leaf on top. When I describe the other brown one as having a little bit more of a distressed look to it, I'd say this is even more so almost like a, a rough kind of barn board. I can even just feel it when I touch it. These are hand finished frames, so they're um, very nicely done and that's why there's the added cost, but it, it definitely has some distressing, like almost little sort of divots and hammered marks in it. So this particular option would add $300 to the cost. The next choice is uh, a lot, a lot wider. So you'd probably be adding about six, six inches on all four sides. This is going to add uh, $475, and this is called olive, medium olive. So it's a very, very nice brown tone with a, a slight reddishy tinge to it. And again, this almost has the effect of sort of slats of wood with a little bit of roughness on the edges. And it, I, I quite like this one. It really gives the whole painting a lot of presence. So that's a very, very kind of luxurious, beautiful option with just this beautifully finished wood. And then the last option, number six, 
So this is the most expensive. This adds $600. So we've got our silver piece. This color is called Cigar Leaf. So I, I would consider, compared to the number five, which is a bit of a reddishy brown, this is more of a, a black brown, so you're getting a lot more of the dark brown. And then it's, it's kind of got a, a ridge, three ridges to it. More, in, more uniform than the one before, um, but also a, a very, very nice frame. So those are the six. Uh, watch the video and maybe just send us some comments what you think. If you've got any questions or if you want us to try something else, um, if you like the silver and you want to see more silver or whatnot, just let us know. Thanks a lot.